and welcome to the NRL Pacific Championships Roundup, where for the very first time, the best men's and women's rugby league players from across the Pacific will come together for the Pacific Championships. Over four weeks, seven nations will compete in a showcase of culture, skill and pride like no other. I'm your host, Renee Gartner, and I'm going to be taking you through week one. We kick off with a doubleheader and two World Cup rematches in Townsville on Saturday. For the men, Australia, Samoa and New Zealand will contest the Pacific Cup, while Cook Islands, Fiji and Papua New Guinea will fight it out for the Pacific Bowl. It all begins with the women as the Australian Gillaroos and New Zealand Ferns face off in Townsville. The international season underway and Australia get there on the fall through Ali Brigginshaw and it is Martor off the back fence first up and look at that greeting taken back no post contact meters on offer there. Oh Upton's there in support and what a dream start to her test career it's been a long time coming to Mika Upton in the Gillaroos jumper but it's worth the wait. And they've got a great little combination, the two of them. Look at that from Ali Brigginshaw. To go through that first line of defence, the support play was perfect. She's got the speed, she's got the recognition. What an opening from the Chillaroos. Well, it certainly was, and it was a great play the ball. Izzy Kelly and Jess Sergis get through so much work in the backfield. They work hard for a quick play the ball, and it allows their really smart players to jump out like Brigginshaw. More depth on the right-hand side, and they'll head that way. McGregor's kick, there's oh, space for Biddle, oh. and that's a Biddle! Another debutante, and New Zealand have the reply, and it is spectacular. As we see here on replay, see how there's no pressure coming at her inside, forcing her hand, and Biddle, who we know is a prolific try scorer at the back end of the season, she didn't start the season that way, but she finds her way over the line first time before the Kiwi Ferns. What a great, <laughs> great try. Oh, it was classy. The service was great. So Racine McGregor got perfect ball. And just the way she shaped this kick. She was always going to kick it there, but she had the time to be able to execute. I'm not surprised. But Martel, oh, oh yes. what an even better tackle. Defending their line so impressively so far. Another of the interchange forwards. Now Aiken's kick. Oh, tough, great change. So tough on RP Nichols as Koenig barreled through. Well, that's two sets in a row that the kick chase has paid off for the Gillaroos. If you don't mind. Here's Johnston back on the angle. They'll do well to hold her up. She's spun over and scored a try just a couple of minutes after coming on. Is some special player in our game at the moment. Just coming back, just that late little angle, but she's still, she was at Georgia Hale. She's one of the best defenders in our game knows tactically how to defend as well and just targets between the two. Look at her legs, don't stop moving till she gets there and that late spin, that's brilliant stuff from Caitlin Johnston. It's a really nice set play there. You saw Lauren Brown come out, the threat on the right. Upton, right hand side, Tamika Upton! It's oh so easy, she is just that good. And this is just identifying what your strengths are, where you can get them. And you see this defence sliding out here? She throws the dummy, slips straight through. And how many times do we see her do this through a season, honestly? Is it just me or does time slow down when Tamika up here yeah. gets the footy? She is unbelievable, but that was such a great shot. The camera work on that was brilliant, to be able to see Tamika Upton in her intent. A bit of a hold up before the final play, this time through the hands for Nathan Wong, who flung her back this on the angle. Oh, how's the footwork? Oh. Malay who flung her! Inspirational! This is what she's best at. A nice pass out of dummy half, but Tyler Nathan Wong just holds up Kezi Apps on the inside, and then it's all Mela who flung her Fergo. It's all her, all power, all passion all over the line. Watch what the Gillaroos do here when she uses her feet. See you later. Oh, set up for Upton. Tamika Upton has options. 
Finds oh. a pretty good one. What a try oh, saver. Great. Nichols got there and denied Tonegato. How did New Zealand hold on there? Oh. And the Chillaroos beat their trans-Tasman rivals again. Seven wins in a row against New Zealand for Australia. But what a contest it was in a World Cup final rematch. The crowd thoroughly entertained in Townsville. It finishes at full time. Australia 16, New Zealand 10. For the men, the inaugural Pacific Championships will get underway with the Australian Kangaroos and Toa Samoa facing off in a rematch of last year's World Cup final, with Samoa looking to shock the rugby league world all over again. pass from Yo, Haas surges and plants the ball down for Australia's first try. This will look great on this angle. Beautiful play. Now I love those plays that come from the sideline back towards the post with plenty of players in motion. Australia did it really well there. Yo, beautiful pass on to Haas who will stretch out and put the ball down. Right. Munster. And Tedesco slices through for a try. Interesting to see how Munster goes tonight. Really interested. He had a really poor end of the season. Like the Melbourne Storm, they sort of fell in the heat. So Cameron Munster won't have a really big game tonight. And Stefano there as well. It took forever to get off. Here's Tino. Oh, both front rows have scored for Australia. Yeah, well, that was just arrogant. That was just, give me the ball, get out of my way. Tedesco, he looks lively. Hasn't missed any sleep with the near ball, obviously. And now Payne Haas, have a look at this. He's toying with them. There's his Brisbane teammate, Pulisia. He gets the ball away after running for 30 metres. And Hunt finds Munster. He gets tripped up, gets up, goes again. Hunt with the ball away. Murray for the line. Over for another try. Australia are pulling all the tricks out in a powerful display. Again, get a short side. Low, low. Lovely kick at Talangi. He gets around them and scores the try. What about the lovely bit of skill there from Luciano Lailua? Well, what about the decision to go down such a short blind side on the last play? Beautifully threads the needle with a little grubber kick. And Talangi backs it up with a great chase into the in goal. Cherry Evans wants it back. Oh, how about that? Oh, dear. Here's the hammer. Can he find some open pasture? You bet he can. Tabua Fido sprinting away to the 30, to the 20. Call up the chase. The hammer goes and scores from the short dropout. Collins now. Oh, good shots. Gordon Chan Kung Pong. Come on down. Oh, Boom. Yes. Look at that. Harry Grant. Away to Tedesco. Numbers for Australia. Away to Hamaso. Tabuai for Dyer. Oh, Edwards thinks he's got the ball on the ground. He had a good view. And Grant Atkins agrees. Try. Yeah, try scorers just find a way. A lovely interchange of passing here just gave the narrowest of openings for Hamaso Tabuai Fado, who got over the line and was actually held up in the first instance. Munster. Oh, that made a thud off the boot, didn't it? And the hammer's down there to put pressure on top. Oh, and it gives him the bobcat treatment. Falongo. He's busted the Aussies up the centre. He's got Tedesco in front of him. Tries to turn him inside out, but the veteran did enough to stop him. 
This has been so spirited by the Samoans. Leilua, oh, lovely, lovely play to Lungi off the back of a bat on uh, a glorious bit of skill. Leilua with a one hand catch, yes! What a try. Well, that is so good. And then look at the, look at two Lungi here. Beats Cherry Evans, oh. beats Liam Martin. And then watch the acceleration here of Luciano when he gets in the clear. Try. Jerry Evans kicks for Staggs. Oh, it only took one play, and Katoni gets a try. That'll send the crowd home happy. They make it seven straight test match victories. And they've done it well. 38 points to 12 over Tyre Samoa in Townsville. Sunday, we head to Port Moresby with the women opening the afternoon as Feta Samoa, who haven't hit the international stage since 2020, taking on the Fiji Abula Kula, who also returns to the internationals for the first time in four years. Pauline Pilia and Rasambale kicking things off from the West's Tigers in the NRLW. And Fiji Bulakula with the ball in their hands to start here. Loffy oh. Paul through a blind pass and it's picked off and racing away here. Fiji Bulakula in cover, oh. slipping through the tackle of oh. Mapasua. And that went forward, perhaps. It's into touch now and razzle-dazzle footy in the opening minutes here. They shifted the scrum across and they've opened up this space and strolling over is Nikore for the opening points for Fiji Bulakula. How easy was that? It just winds up. I thought it was going to be the Fijian sidestep there, which has looked a step, but then goes straight over the top view. Who was that who passed that ball then? Was it Rocco Ono? Yeah. Beautiful play. As I said, wound up the Fijian sidestep. He was just about to get the bumper bars up and just drew in the defence. So Brill fires it to the right. There's players over here. They must score. Williams Guthrie sets it up beautifully and untouched in the corner. It's Lindsay Tui this time for the answer. In both tries, the first try to the Fijians was spaced out wide. Williams Guthrie there does great job slowed herself up drew the winger in zero tackle trying to skip on the outside risky play flirting with that sideline but did well to find staples in support now the footwork from night oh, oh, what about that hit Nua asala just low at the shoulder that's better to brill and Lofi poor space here. The centre finds her winger, and Fetu Samoa have their first lead of the ball game. It's Taylor Mapasua. You'll see here. Rocco Marama came flying in off the wing and just catch and pass. Too easy in the end. Inside the 10. Oh, there's space here, right up the middle. Oh, and yeah. over. Try scored by the veteran, Nua Asala for Fetu Samoa. She's alerting other teammates to get in position for the kick now. If it does come, they go through the hands for now. Oh, cut out ball, nice option, and they'll score in the corner. How good was that? The awareness from Liati to put it out in front of Lindsay Tui. Really nice 
double cut passes. That last one was lovely. I think it was Liatti. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a again. shot! Pete T, <laughs> NRLW superstar yes. of the future, I think. Hardigan trying to organise her playmakers. Nitoka Toka again. She found it this time. What a try! Nikore on the end of a pinpoint kick from Seri Nitoka Toka. A great kick considering the wind. The breeze really behind the Fijian team. And then lands it right on the spot early in the half. Nikore missed an opportunity, but not this time. Probably a tougher take, this one. Saw a quick play of the ball here. Momentum gain. What can they do with it? Trying to set it up for Namotha. And spins away over and finds that try line just. But she spins really well here. She held on, yeah, held on to it. It's still a long way away. Nine and a half minutes remaining. Oh, help! Mapasua reefs it out. Too late after the held call, so... Oh, that's going to be oh, 10 in the bin, potentially. Bin. For sure. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Game changing right before oh. your eyes here. Back to that left-hand side. They've oh. created an overlap with 12 players, and there is the sealer. The conversion attempt. Oh, what a strike. The best of the day. To seal a 14-point victory for Fetu Samoa. Winners over Fiji Bulakula in Port Moresby. The first week of the Pacific Championships wraps up with the nation's host PNG Kumuls taking on the Cook Islands in a battle for the Pacific Bowl. <laughs> So International Rugby League on Nines Wide World of Sports. Pictures coming to you live from Port Moresby, and it is the Cormals. It's Rimbu and uh, Johnston. And out to Arlick. He slips a pass away, and a try to Zach Labert, the first of the afternoon to the Cormals, and the locals are loving it. It was nice football, just the same. Jake Navalli, big, tall, rangy kid. Got a future, this boy, I think. Handy back row, isn't it? He is. Arlick and then Russell. Up. He was given an opportunity late in the year for the Dragons. And he did some good things for the Dragons. So I think he might have signed a new contract for a couple of years. So McDonald sets up 15 from the line to Bell and his lamb. Leaves Johnston behind. Oh, beautiful hands. Labert for Derby who might have scored a couple of minutes ago, but it was a forward pass, but there's no doubt about that. Lovely attacking footy, and the Kummels in for try at number two. You were talking about Lachlan Liam and the class he's got. Watch this bullet pass. They do take some stopping. DeBellin, bit of class with a left foot step there. Trying to find some space through the middle. Dragged down by Masters. And the front roller will get the try he was denied earlier. Sometimes right. a little bit of Mr. McGee's in there, some of the decisions. And rolling forward, aren't they, PNG? Oh, nothing's gone the way at all of the Cook Islands. Lamb from a very long way back. In What's a 20 20? 40 20. What about that? That's <laughs> the longest kick I've ever seen. That was a 20 20. It looked like it had a spinnaker attached to it. He's back again, Valentine Richard. They weren't going to deny him. I think we've found a new favourite of yours, Matt. Oh. Valentine Richard. Labert's back, and he got a pass away to Lamb and McDonald with a try. Great.
great combination. Labor and Lamb. That was a beautiful ball. It's been a mainstay of the PNG Hunters. In the uh, Queensland Cup, here's a chance. Johnston, Alex Johnston in the clear. He's got a couple in front of him. If he goes for the corner, he'll just about score. He gets a pass away. Great work, Johnston laid it in right on half time. Here he is, goes through the middle, horn, and then he finds Alex Johnston. Now, he was home here. Home. And then you put the mock on him, Matt. <laughs> Slowed him up. And then laid it over in the corner. Yeah, nice try. Through the middle of the field. Playmakers working together. Alex Johnson at fullback. As I said earlier, he's, he was a tremendous young fullback as a teenager. Schoolboy champion, junior rep player. It was always thought that he'd be an NRL fullback. But he's made such a fine fist to playing on the wing. And then a fellow by the name of Greg Inglis came along playing fullback for South. And, and a bloke called Latrell Mitchell, so his yeah. opportunities at the back have been limited to the point now where he's scored 187 tries from 214 NRL games. Labert and Lamb, a little grubber towards the end goal, and uh, the ball spews out the back, and this might be another try straight after the break for PNG. He's another one of these players that had to wait a long time for an NRL opportunity. Spent many years toiling away at Queensland Cup level in particular. And it's in his late 20s, he's got a chance in the NRL. And here's Rimbu bursting through the middle. McDonald on the back up, and it's another one. That's his third. Here, here we go. <laughs> he charges, gets three and four in the tackle, and then gets it out the back. And Rimbu, he's off. Alex Johnson's on the other side, but he oh. goes to the right. Seven from PNG line. Can they jag a try here? Takarangi with a precision kick. What a catch. What a put down. Malachi Morgan has probably got a try here. Nice backhanded pass. Masters. Stephen Masters with a kick through. It's been regathered. It's another try. Masters uh, with a lovely kick. And he got the rebound and scored the try. His lamb, McDonald for four, try. Yeah, classy stuff. Lachlan Lamb again with another try assist. And I'll say it again. He's given an opportunity in the NRL, a regular opportunity to play in the top grade. I'm sure he can mature into a, a longer-term NRL player. The Cornwalls have come away with victory. 46 points to 10. What a game and what a round of Pacific Championships. Join us again next week when we show you all the tries, all the big hits and all the action on the Pacific Championships Roundup.